Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is arguably one of the best Assassin's Creed games. Not necessarily for its Assassin's Creed qualities either, it's more so revered for its quality story and incredible cast of characters. And then of course it took the naval gameplay gimmick from Assassin's Creed 3 and turned it into a fully blown open world gameplay mechanic. This game also marks the first time the Assassin's Creed fanbase put their faith in Ashraf Ismail and it paid off. And so inevitably it was going to get the still gold treatment sooner or later, so why not make it sooner? I love this game and have been wanting to do this video for quite some time, however Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag only being 6 years old it always felt like a bit of a push. Now I just don't care. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is still gold. So please kick back, grab yourself a coffee and a cigar, mine is the cigar because smoking kills. I'm just joking, grip that cigar you bad man and enjoy. Naturally, this game starts by thrusting us straight into the heat of naval warfare. Edward's out here in the pouring rain wearing nothing but a vest, so I suppose that immediately makes him a certified bad man. He just removed the stick that was embedded in his arm like it was nothing. Edward peers over to the other ship where he sees a man wearing a hood and thinks, wow, that's a fascinating gimp suit. Naturally, of course, the helmsman's dead, so it's now our turn to take the wheel. And suddenly, we're no longer getting smited by enemy vessels. They should have put me in charge earlier. Well, it's safe to say that Lightning just mugged that guy right off. Good bye. Ah, yes, we've won. It's time to celebrate our victory. Wait, what's that? Oh shit, our ship's on fire! Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! I'm not sure what's better about this. The fact that he got killed because he's an arsehole, or the fact that he looks like he had an orgasm as he died. Hey, look, it's fancy gimp suit guy. Is he gonna kill us? No, of course he's not. Explosion. Look at all these colours. I'd imagine this is a flashback because otherwise this would be a really strange predicament to find yourself in after being launched in the sea by an explosion. Oh no, would you look at that? Edward's fine, he's just drowning. But he swims up to the surface, so all that water that he just inhaled doesn't matter anymore. Naturally, now we see all the destruction of that battle that we were just involved in, and I find it quite funny how there's stuff on fire in the water. Like literally right on the surface. It's also raining, so what gives? By the time we reach the surface, the weather miraculously clears up right away. And this island is instantly sunny, warm and lovely and nice. <laughs> He's laughing because there's not a rain cloud in sight. The weather just hates him. I mean, he is British, so I guess it is true. Oh look, there's that weasel that killed our captain. Ah, oh, how I hate you so. Thank you. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what kind of magic this guy expects Isn't Edward to pull off here either. Well, his mood changed quick. And so our new friend jogs off into the jungle. What an incredibly strange man. Of course, I'm supposed to be chasing that man in the fancy hooded gimp suit. However, I got distracted by all the random pointless collectibles dotted around this map. After monkeying about for a solid 10 minutes, I finally got back to the objective. By this time, of course, naturally, he'd probably have already been in Havana. After all, I am taking my time and he's surely not waiting for me. Oh, look, a dead man. As it turns out, our new friend has waited for us. What a guy. Hey, that looks dangerous. Ah, yes, the classic Ubisoft viewpoint. One second. For some reason, Edward can magically perform a leap of faith into water by this point, but it's sort of covered up by being a dive. Oh, it's my friend. Hello. Why did you shoot me? My new assassin friend has betrayed me. For some reason, we know he's an assassin. This means war. I am going to kill him. It is going to be an epic battle. I hear that assassins are dangerous characters, so I'm going to have to be careful with this one. Wait, hang on. What? Was that it? He was fucking shit. No wonder he found himself on this island when he's that incompetent. Of course, naturally, Edward next puts on the man's robes. I can only imagine that he's always wanted a gimp suit just like this one. Throw away the hidden blade. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Oh, 
I find it really funny how he put the hood on, then took it off immediately. Another classical Ubisoft viewpoint, because they never get old. Now, I don't understand why there are random British soldiers here, but you know what, fair enough, I guess it furthers the plot. I guess they must have washed up after the same battle that we were just in. Hey, look, a turtle, how cool's that? That turtle does not give a fuck about the soldiers. Oh, hello there, sir, how are you? Oh. It's me! Die, you imperial bastard. Ow. By some miracle, Edward is already a master of open combat against several enemies at once. So several killings later, and all that's left on this beach is me and this member. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? Abscond? Did you just say abscond? <laughs> I'm Duncan. No, you're not, you ropey fucker, but this guy will believe anything. Steed, Steed Bonnet. Steed? As in Steve, but spelled wrong. Speed? Yes. <laughs> I love how there's just a dead bloke behind them. He's fine, just ignore him. Sunshine and rainbows, kids. It is time to swim to the ship, because we haven't invented small boats yet. It is time to swim. Where is Speed? Where is Speed? Come say hello, Speed. Oh, yeah, ignore this bit. I went for a piss. As it turns out, my game of fluid is not epic enough to stay in my body. Ah, yes, a typical nice calming sail about, but try not to crash. Little gameplay passage. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. And you're a natural nonce. Oh, my day. Pirate, in it. Fantastic work. Very promising. Ah, yes, loading screen time. All right, easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Are you a crackhead? You look like you've done a bump and then smoked a zoot. Jesus. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? Considering the tone of the voice there, it wouldn't seem as if it would have been a big deal if you did. I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. I hope you didn't break your brain. <laughs> look at these lights. You're fine. Now fuck off. All right. Let's take a walk. You know, I hope you get sacked because you're far too enthusiastic for this job. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. I'm a the gamer. I'm not sure what stable. you expected. Impressive, right? The last word that I'd ever use to describe Assassin's Creed liberation is impressive. This building is barely six months old. So I'll be the first one to throw myself off the top floor balcony. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. But it still sank the ship. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. A tablet. Please excuse me if I beat you to death with it. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. What is with Where this pointless overuse of technology? Video. Oh yeah, these elevator rides in Black Flag are awkward as fuck, so elevator music please. <laughs> Are you all right, love? Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, maybe. Is anyone going to call this guy a friend? No, wrong friend, wrong friend, no. This is the sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. You forgot the part where he's dead, but fair enough. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Oh, look, Pirate Man is back. You know the colour scheme on the logo in this title card? I don't understand why they went with that, because it honestly doesn't look that nice. However, it's got gold in it, I guess, so I suppose it works for our video. See someone you know? No, 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 just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Or a nonce, I'd imagine right. that's more likely. Um, I'm just headed to... Uh public house now to meet some merchants I could I could show you the way well lead on 
Ah uh, yes, another classical Ubisoft viewpoint. I swear that these never get old, ever. I promise. Hang tight! So Edward somehow knows how to do a leap of faith. Sweet. For the sake of gameplay, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm close at heel, Shedbird. Here I come. Don't make me chase you into the harbour. Well, that was exhilarating. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Nah, Duncan, bro. I warned him. Well, I suppose it's officially kicked off. I'm going to be honest, snapping his neck was a bit much. <laughs> Look at his face! Nobody expects the Spanish YouTuber. <laughs> Absconding from the authorities unfortunately quickly turned into beating the ever-loving shit out of them, but it's fine. It didn't take me long at all to escape from the authorities, so I returned to Steed Bonnet to find out that his sugar had been stolen. Don't worry, Steed, I will return. Ah yes, a classic Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag tailing mission, because that doesn't comprise of all of the land missions. Of course, when tailing people, they never go directly to where they want to go. They're always touring about town, so it takes forever to actually find out what they're going to do. Ignore me, gents. I am but a dancing girl. Ah, yes, more tailing. My favourite gameplay mechanic. Hey, look, a public execution. I wonder if it's anyone I know. Uh, probably not. Who's this goon? More tailing. What can I say? I really just can't get enough. Sorry about this, mate. I really need your key, so die. Don't mind me knocking people out in dark rooms is just the norm. Pointlessly placed chest. Don't mind if I do. I like how it tells me to sneak to the fort lockup, knowing most players are just going to massacre their way. I got lucky and managed to just bolt it straight to lockup, so it's fine. Oh, hey, would you look at that? The escape is even easier than the break in, so what can you say? Steed, mate, are you alright? You need someone to buy you a taxi. Man's fucked. Steed, focus on my voice. Whatever's going on here, I'm sure we can fix it. Steed, talk to me, you strange crackhead. Is that another pointless collectible? Wait, why is it so awkwardly placed? Let me have it. Alright, fine. I've got it now, it's sweet. Don't worry.